Well, it's been five or six weeks since we've had a quickening. And here it comes, Epitaph for Tommy, one of our best. This was part of our strategy to bring in guest stars who had established themselves in other entertainment media. So we welcomed Rowdy Roddy Piper, straight from the world of big time wrestling, who was also a former finalist in various tough man competitions around the world. Extremely nice guy, big guy, tough guy. Ken had found a location for the end of the movie and for, you know, earlier in the movie, which is called uh, the PNE, the uh, Pacific National Exhibition, which has an amusement park in it. And we all thought this would be a time to dare to be great, to dare to come up with a quickening that was a little different, that was a little more extravagant than something we'd ever done before. We even found a girl, Gabrielle Miller, who was just for informational purposes, was the gal in the hay wagon. And we liked her so much, she came back later in an episode called Rite of Passage. Uh, when, when, they, when we rehearsed sword fights, they were rehearsing mostly with wooden swords, basically just sort of sticks. And then they progressed to aluminum swords. During the fights, they used the aluminum swords, which are lighter in weight than a real sword, but they are still made of metal and they still have an edge and can, can hurt. And then the close-ups, when the guy's holding the sword like this, that's when the steel swords are actually used. Well, this night, Rowdy Roddy was pumping some adrenaline and he broke Adrian's sword and slashed Adrian's hand. It was the first injury that we had had on the show. And the nurse came up and said that we had to stop shooting. Adrian immediately had to go to the hospital. Adrian looked at Ken and looked at the first AD and said, aren't we ready for the quickening? And they said, yes, but you know, it's your call. And he said, let's do it. You know, under a tight bandage, blood pouring out of his hand, he did the quickening and then was taken to the emergency room where they, they stitched him up. Not a lot of actors would do that.